Well, Angie, another hack to report. Now, this one isn't after credit card data. This one goes after mostly small businesses by getting into their systems through their Internet phone connection. And, you know, last year, businesses lost more than $4.5 billion to this particular vulnerability. Jerry Irvine is the president and CIO of Prescient Solutions and was a member of the Cybersecurity Task Force. You, your company, you, you've worked on this particular problem. How does it work, in fact? Well... IP phone systems are connected to the internet just like anything connected to the internet has the ability to get hacked. Um, most of the time it's because passwords have not been set to be complex, default user IDs and passwords are left in place, or systems aren't being kept updated. So the bad guys get in through the phone system, how far into a company's proprietary information can they get? Well, once they're in the phone system, they could get to the entire network if it's not segmented from the rest of your network. And unfortunately, most people today will just have one network. They plug everything in. So I can get into your phone, get into your PCs, or get into your PCs and get into your phone. So they're taking, what, phone minutes and then reselling them? Well, what they do is they actually gain access to your IP server, and then they sell uh, cards, the phone, prepaid phone cards, with access to that IP server, or they redirect lines to use and originate phone calls from your IP server itself. The incentive to get things fixed is that the end user, these little companies, are the ones holding the bag. They've got to pay all the losses. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not like credit cards, where if your credit card is stolen, the credit card company will reimburse you or pay that for you. If, if your phone system gets hacked and you get a bill, you get the bill. The, the phone company has no legal obligation to pay you back. And so these hackers are going out there, they're pre-selling your phone data and then, then giving you the bill. I was surprised at how simple the steps are to actually prevent this from happening. Yeah, it, it really is. Most of these are occurring as a result of weak user IDs or passwords or the default user IDs and passwords. Additionally, the systems are basically Linux systems, and many of them are, are open source Linux systems, so you have to keep them updated. There are known bugs that are out there for it. And then the last thing would be maybe segmentation, so don't have your phone system on the same network as, the, as your PCs. Mm -hmm. Simple, and businesses now are warned. Jerry uh, Irvine, thanks so much. Thank you.